Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly general reading for April 2020. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who have liked, shared and commented, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, for those of you who would like to book uh, a private reading with me, please do check my about page. All the information you need is there, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I also now have an ST shop. And so if you want to book me through ST or through my website, all the links are in the description box and the about page. And once I hear from you, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So Leo, this month I have decided to change the spread and um, we are going to have one card for each week and then we will have one overall card that's going to be your main concern for the whole of the month okay so um i've already pre-shuffled the deck but i will shuffle again from in front of you and then i'll select and then i will shuffle again and which card that jumps out for you will be your main concern for the month of april so leo sun moon rising and venus signs this is your um general reading okay so Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the month of April. Okay. Okay. First week. Second week. Third week. Fourth week. fifth week okay so so what's going to be the main concern for Leo Sun Moon Rising for the month of April Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs okay main concern I will take both so your bottom deck is the ten of cups okay so your main concern is going to be the strength card and the knight of swords okay so first week we've got three of cups third second week nine of um, pentacles third week you got a seven of swords fourth week you got judgment and the fifth week you got king of cups okay right so leo yes right i'm very very um how do i say it i'm drawn to the yellow colors the bright colors yes that's how that's how i feel here and i feel we should clarify your third week okay your third week and fifth week but I think we'll go through it and then we'll clarify later on. Okay. Okay. So. Your main concern, Leo. I feel. Having this knight of swords. And the strength. As your main concern for the month of April. Yes, I feel you are going to feel a bit disorganized, okay? Disorganized and you are going to need strength, okay? Diplomacy, you're going to be... I feel for some of you, you, you could be facing this Knight of Sword energy and you you need your own, you need to... Um, 
how do I say, be in control of yourself, okay? To be in control of yourself because for some of you, I feel this is outside forces, okay? However you see this, whoever this Knight of Sword is, um, the only way you are going to um, maintain or win whatever you want to win is just stay cool. That is how I see here. Okay. This is someone with this energy, but you know, you, you are going to, you are Leo. So what are you going to do? You are going to be elegant. <laughs> You're going to be elegant and you are going to um, let your actions speak rather than actually talking. Okay. Um, yes, that is how I feel here. You are going to be, you're going to feel, there's good, you know, you need to be in, in control of yourself. And when you're in control of yourself, you can control this situation. Okay. That is how I feel you need. And for some of you, you need the Knight of Swords energy to be able to be in control of yourself. Does that make sense? Yes, I think it makes sense. For some of you, you'll be facing the Knight of Swords energy and then you need to be diplomatic and be in control of yourself so that you can control the, the stress that will come in. But for some of you, you would need to take charge by being in control of yourself to face anything that comes your way. Okay? So I feel, yes, you have to be um, vigilant. Okay? Vigilant of anything coming in for you. But overall, you've got your own card, Leo. You need strength. You need to comport yourself. You need to behave yourself. You need to be like, I'm too... I'm, I'm, I'm too cool for this, you know, I'm not going to fight it like that. And you fight it in a different way. <laughs> so I feel that's how your overall energy is going to be. Okay. Okay. So now in the first week, we've got some type of celebration coming in for you. I feel this is more to do with celebration. For some reason, I feel this got something to do with your fourth week. Um. Yes. So in the first week, we've got the... Three of Cups um, is something to do with your family, of course. And here we've got the Ten of Cups. It's certainly something to do with your family. It could be a relative. It could be whatever. But I feel something good is coming in terms of your family life. Okay. Whether you are whether getting married, whether you are having children, whatever it is. Something good is coming to you that you are going to celebrate with people who are close to you, people who are important to you, you'll be toasting, certainly doing cheers in the first week of April. And don't ask me why. I feel like you will see that from the 3rd of April. That's how I see from the 3rd of April. Um, or for most of you on the 3rd of April, you, you will have something to say cheers to but this is going to be the main energy of the first week so there's something good there to celebrate in the second week we've got the nine of pentacles this nine of pentacles i feel um you are going to be feeling creative feeling generous okay whatever the generosity is I feel you are going to be feeling generous towards yourself. Generous in your home life. But I feel it's going to be, you're going to feel like doing stuff that will make you happy. You're going to be very generous to yourself. That's how I continue to feel. I know it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but yes, and you are going to be more important, you know, you're going to be feeling like I want to take care of my looks. I want to eat well. I want to put my finances in order, just like this nine of pentacles. Whether you are in a relationship or not, you know, you will want to have some type of financial independence. So that, you know, you don't have anyone um, stressing you with finances. You don't, you don't want to have the need to ask someone for it. 
and in the second week of april you will start feeling like yes um but i also feel for some of you who who are having financial difficulty in the second week you will be able to sort out your finances someone could be generous to you and this person could be a virgo or this could be um, someone who's an earth sign who could be helping you um, sorting out your financial problems in the second week but i also feel for most of you you will be wanting to establish your financial independence in the second week of april okay yes 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 so now we are in the third week right let's clarify this um seven of swords okay okay so seven of swords we've got seven of wands one more okay right so there you go you've got the seven of swords and um clarifying that is the seven of wands okay leo so looks to me like you need to have a strategy okay there is someone or something that you need to have a strategy to fight it this could be someone who is an earth sign someone who is in authority someone or a situation that will be rigid because this is a taurus okay a rigid situation that you will want to um, defend yourself but you need strategy okay you need to be this seven of swords guy here you need strategy to be able to get whatever you want whatever it is okay so if you taking that off so i feel some it's something to do with your home okay something to do with your home something to do with your possible love life and you need to be strategic how you deal with this person because this person could be the one with the knight of swords energy because this knight of sword is also a taurus and gemini and gemini is ruled by mercury so um so certainly so this could be <laughs> this could be anyone but i feel it could be someone stressing you and or there could be some kind of you know someone not being cooperative okay and being rigid and they want to have their way but you need to be strategic like i said you need to be on point you need to control yourself to be able to get what you want just like i said from the start yes you need the strength to fight it and you need to be diplomatic and now in the third week you're going to be strategic to be able to get this off your chest and i feel you're going to do it successfully i, I believe that because this is your energy and you are going to defend whatever you need to defend and you are going to be successful at it okay so whether it's conversation it could be a conversation with with someone with in high authority it could be anybody it could be a situation it could be your partner it could be your boss it could be authority in your country but i also feel like it's a conversation you know having this wand here and the sword is a conversation and you need to be careful how you present yourself you need to strategize okay and organized yes so at least we know that this um seven of swords is your own energy so i feel like it's something that you need to be aware of and then here you've got judgment in the fourth week something that you've asked 
the universe for karma is bringing it to you. And I feel here it is good karma. Okay. Here you've got your angel blowing trumpet for you. Something is going to be revived. Something um, that hasn't gone too great for you over the past you know, few weeks or months. Um, in April, the fourth week of April, something is going to rekindle. And I feel it's your family life. Okay. I feel something to do with your family. If even there's anything that is a problem, you are going to have a resolution and something good is going, you're going to hear some good news in the fourth week concerning your family. So if even you're having family, you know, issues or problems, um, it's going to be resolved. Okay. And here in the fifth week, we've got the king of cups. I feel this king of cups is someone coming in for you, Leo. This is there's someone coming in for you. For those of you who are single, that is how I feel here. There's there's someone coming in, or this is someone who's already in your in your life. And they want to re-establish some type of um, contact. And I feel this contact, I feel it's already there. But I feel like, you know, it's been a bit shaky. But in the, in the, in the fifth week, in April, things are going to calm down on their side. You see, I feel so. That is going to calm down on their side. And what you need to remember whatever you're doing you need to exercise authority on yourself be in charge of yourself and then you will get whatever you want that's how i feel here okay and i also feel this is also in connection with to do with family okay because this guy is like a very broody guy that's how i see him when i see the ten of cups <laughs> So it's something to do with family. And um, yes, this guy will, will calm down. Whether it's a he or a she. Okay. Yes. So yes, I, I feel it's going to be um, a month where you need to be, um, you need to strategize. But the main focus should be on yourself. You need to be in control of your own emotion. And, you know, being diplomatic is what you want. And that's how you're going to win. I hope this has been insightful for you. I will see you next month or you will see me next month.